This is the Hydro Engineering Hydro Blaster AWS. That's Aircraft Wash System. We're going to first give you a quick overview and then we'll show you how to operate the machine. Let's identify everything on the machine. This is the pump and motor enclosure. These are the high pressure hose reels for the output hot water. 500 gallon tank, burner system. This is a tandem axle trailer. This is the chemical pre-spray and foaming system reel. Toolbox for holding all your accessories. Two chemical tanks, 30 gallons each. This is an inlet hose allowing you to directly fill the machine's tank or run the machine. Fire extinguisher. Fuel tanks, both for the burner and for its diesel engine. Spare tire. Muffler, notice that says hot. And this is the water control controlling where the water comes from for the machine. We'll get into that a little bit more later. You have a parking brake chemical storage, safety chains for towing, and a hitch that allows you to raise and lower it to match the height of the vehicle that you're pulling it with. This is the lockable equipment enclosure. Inside you'll find the Kubota diesel engine. This is the radiator cap, your radiator overflow bottle. Right back here we have a fuel filter. There are spares located in your toolbox. Over here is your dipstick to check the oil and check it each time before you operate the machine. Right here is a dipstick for your pump oil. Make sure you're checking that. Do not overfill the pump. This is a maintenance free battery. Right back there there's an inlet water filter. You'll want to check that daily and make sure it's free of debris. And this is your chemical pre-spray pump. Okay, after we've checked everything under the hood, let's talk about the control panel. You have a switch for starting your engine and pre-spray. Burner control switch. This determines which chemical tank we're pulling out of. Down here we have a low oil pressure light. We have a charging light, as well as an hour meter. That way you can maintain your service intervals properly using your owner's manual. Temperature control. And this is your pre-spray in the up position or down turns you to foaming operation, which we'll show you in a minute. Before operating the AWS, first determine how you're going to get water to it. Now if you have filled the 500 gallon tank on the trailer, then this valve will be in the horizontal position and that brings water in from the water tank on the trailer. When you switch it to here, it brings it in from an onboard tank that accepts water from the hose reel on the back of the trailer. So if you have a pressurized water source and you don't want to fill the tank, then you can operate it using the hose reel that's right back here hooked to a culinary water source. Okay, we're ready to wash. So the first thing I'm going to do is pull the trigger. This is like putting the clutch in on your car. You do not want to start it in gear. The next thing I'm going to do is preheat the engine. When the light goes out, I'll turn it to start. The machine will fire up. After I'm sure that I've got good water flow through the system, I'm going to turn the burner on. As soon as I have turned the burner on, in a couple of seconds it's going to light, and we'll let it run for a minute, and then I'm going to let go of the trigger to make sure the burner shuts down. That's a critical safety feature. Once the burner is lit, we'll allow the machine to warm up, then we'll set the pre-spray button. Now, this machine in this operational mode can be used by three people at once. Two guys on hot, high-pressure washing ones and another pre-spraying soap. Okay, we're ready to go. I'm going to go through the starting sequence. I'm going to pull the trigger first. 
I'm going to preheat it, making sure all the switches are off. As soon as the preheat light goes out, I'm going to fire it up. Once I'm sure that I have good water flow, I'm going to turn the burner switch on. Okay, I can hear the burner operating. I can see heat coming out of the exhaust. And I can feel the wand starting to heat up. Now I'm going to do a safety check. I'm going to let go of that trigger. Make sure the burner shuts off, which it has. And then I'm going to turn it back on. Now as soon as the machine heats up, and you can see that was quite quick, we're ready to start washing. With or without the engine running, you can operate the soap pre-spray system. Just turn the switch on on the control panel, pull the trigger, and you have pressurized soap dispensing. In the toolbox, you'll find many things. You have washing components, you have spares, and a foaming wand that we're going to show you how to use right now. Now we're going to show you the foaming system. I've removed the wash and rinse wand. We're going to attach the foaming wand that we pulled out of the toolbox. I'm going to start the machine. Now we're pulling chemical out of the the chemical mix tank and you can select your foaming operation and which chemical tank you're pulling from. Now the hydro blaster is already heated up. You can use this hot or cold. Right now we're going to use it hot. As you can see, you can apply a lot of soap very quickly, and you can see it's very, very dry. So the purpose of this is putting chemical on the surface of the aircraft, getting it to hang as long as possible to do the best job with the least amount of soap. For more information, visit hydroblaster.com.